welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you back. Today is going to be my eyeshadow tutorial and guys, I know you've been waiting for it. And finally, I decided to put it together and I am going to show you how to create an easy everyday um, eyeshadow look. If you guys know on the channel, we really do keep it simple. We really do keep it practical. And I want to make sure that I leave you feeling really super confident about your eyeshadow application skills by the end of this video. I am going to be using the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Eyeshadow Palette. This is my palette that I got from Sephora. Um, and essentially, I'm just going to open it up so you can see kind of like the shades that are available. So if you have a shadow pa eyeshadow palette at home that you want to match this to, you can have a quick squeeze and you can see which colors are going to work for you in this tutorial. So the shades I'm going to use are in a, okay, there we go. I'm going to use in a pinch and then I'm going to use extra spicy. So in a pinch is like a light coral color. Extra spicy is a very deep or burnt orange. And then I'm going to use hot tamale and that I'm going to use on the outer corner as well as on my, underneath my waterline. I'm going to end off with drizzle it on the lid, which is like a shimmery kind of burgundy. And then I'm going to top the look off with lick the spoon which i'm going to use on my inner corners as you can see cool guys so in this in this tutorial i really want to keep it simple as i had mentioned there's no cut creasing there's no nothing hectic i think the only hectic thing is that i create the look with five different eyeshadows that i just showed you but you really don't need to use five you can use two you can use one color um the whole point of or the whole thing about eyeshadow is it needs to you need to blend it so if you're blending and you feel like I'm really tired of this or your wrist hurts girl you need to blend some more and some more and some more and some more and some more you need to blend so despite you having to use the right brushes you definitely need to pair that off with blending it correctly The brushes that I'm going to use are either Eco Tools or Real Techniques, but I'm going to just tell you what the names are. The first one I'm going to use is, actually, this is not the first one I'm going to use in the eye. The first one I'm going to use is my base shadow brush. With this brush, as you can see, it's a very fluffy brush. The fluffier the brush, the lighter the color kind of goes on your lid. The denser the brush, like this brush, the more pigmented the, the color is going to be on your lid. But... Be careful if you want a highly pigmented look on the lid or on your eye you can't necessarily go with this kind of brush because the surface area is too wide and you also need to blend these bristles are far too tight for you to blend you need to get a blending brush which looks like this or like this in order to kind of get that look going and if you want more pigmentation it's all about packing it on packing the look color on packing the color on a lady who does eyeshadow really incredibly is mary jane she really really knows how to add pigmentation to her looks i'm actually going to add her in my um, description box so you can check out a lot of her tutorials if you are like a kid you're keeping it a bit too basic for me and i'm trying to level up girl you can definitely watch mary jane's tutorials and level yourself up girl but right now on this channel we keep it basic we keep it simple we keep it cool we stay in our lane so anyway and then I've got a crease brush and this brush basically goes in the crease. If you guys don't know eye anatomy, I'm going to tell you really quickly the things I'm going to mention. This is basically the lash line. There's an upper lash line and a lower lash line. I call this the lower lash line and I'm sometimes going to refer to it as my waterline. However, you don't put eyeshadow on the waterline, guys. You put it on the lash line, literally where the lashes are underneath the waterline, like literally over here, that's where we're going to be putting the eyeshadow. Okay, guys, not in the eye. Don't do it. Don't do that. And then when I close my eye, you can't really see the crease, but you see where there's like folds on your eye lid? That is called the crease. This brush fits perfectly into this area because that's how you can dispense the color with the tip of this point. It dispenses color so beautifully and you just literally go like that, okay? And then we've got the base shadow brush, also a Real Techniques brush, very fluffy brush as well. I love this for creating any, any color or diffusing color from above my crease. So anything up here, I will use this brush usually to kind of diffuse that color in and you go in circles or in sweeping motions, but you keep it very light. And depending on how closely you hold your brush and how, and how, much further away from the head you hold it you will get a lighter or a darker 
kind of um, placement of your shadow. So I suggest that you hold it right about here. Never hold your eyeshadow brush here because you won't be able to blend and it won't diffuse the color effectively. You want to be holding it at this point. Also, what we're going to do with the concealer, concealer is very, very important. It actually helps your pigmentation show more. The lighter the concealer is, the more the color is going to show. So I'm going to use a concealer that is two shades lighter than my actual foundation color, and I'm using NC44. I love this for um, priming my lids. I don't use an eyebrow, I don't use an eyeshadow primer. It just doesn't work. For me and for my palette, I use concealer. The most important step after applying concealer is you must set it. If you don't set your concealer before you go in with your eyeshadow, you're gonna have a lot of like creases in your lid and your color's not gonna go on evenly. You wanna make sure that you create a flawless base for that eyeshadow. When you go and you slap it on, it just glides, baby, glides. So yeah, guys, that's essentially it. That's all that you need. If you don't have a mirror in your palette, like a mirror like this in your palette, then get yourself a mirror and let us get to work. I am going to use my Too Faced ginger, ginger, gingerbread extra spicy um, eyeshadow palette um, because a lot of you guys were curious about it and wanted to see how it performs. So I'm going to use it in this video. Okay, so now guys, we're going to reach into our palette. I'm going to take this side of the brush first, which is like a blending brush head. And I am going to dip into Inner Peach, as I had mentioned. And this color is actually very, very, this color over here. It's very, very peachy. Um, and it's also light. So the, so the thing about eyeshadow is, guys, you need to create gradients, okay? So if you are starting with a color up here, for example, first of all, you need to always start at the corner and bring the color in. Always, always start at the outer corner and bring the color in. But as I was still saying, the way that you pick colors for eyeshadow is you need to pick maybe three or four eye eyeshadow colors that are complementary. Whichever one is your lightest one needs to be your base. So you need to make sure that, not your base, but the first one that you start with. And it usually goes here around the brow bone and just above the crease. So I am bringing this color literally and I'm flicking it out at the end. So you kind of need to kind of create that look for your eyeshadow whenever you put it on. Kind of put it on in that way where you just, do you get me? Where you're putting your brush down like that. You're not just putting it on. You're kind of creating a look and you're guiding it with regards to where it must go. Now the thing about eyeshadow is guys, you need to be patient and you definitely need to blend. Eyeshadow looks best when it is blended for the longest time. So if your hands hurts, or if your arms hurts, or if your wrist hurts, you're doing it the right way. You need to blend, 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 and blend. And when you think you've blended enough, you need to blend some more. Okay, so the next thing now that we're gonna take is we're gonna take Extra Spicy. I'm gonna show you again how Extra Spicy looks. Extra Spicy is right over there. So I'm going to dip my base shadow brush, and this is my Real Techniques brush, and you always have to just lightly dust it off and this i'm going to apply directly onto my crease which is in here and if you can see that now you can see that it's a little bit darker than in a pinch and where is it staying right here but also you're pulling it down here to make in a pinch and extra spicy be friends so you're kind of fusing them um i'm gonna go in with extra spicy again just to give my eye look a little bit more depth okay cool so now we've got the second part, okay, of this, which is your crease. And as I mentioned, you go from lightest to darkest to darker to deepest, deepest, and then the ultimate deepest color. So now that I've created that first shade that was the lightest and like my base kind of shade, gone in with my crease shade, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to tie those two looks together. So I'm going to go in with hot tamale and it's like a hot pink right over there. Take hot tamale and I'm literally just going to smoke it out at the edge. I'm just going to take my mirror to make sure I'm doing it right. I'm going to smoke it out on my outer crease. And then you're going to go to your waterline. And I'm going to add it as I would. I wouldn't say eyeliner because it doesn't go directly on the waterline, but it goes 
just below the waterline. Just a tip guys on adding eyeshadow underneath your eye, make sure that you do it if you are concealing under the eyes, make sure that you do it after you conceal and you've baked and set your um, under eye area. Unless you're not wearing any heavy makeup or you're not really going to add concealer, if this is just your foundation and you're done, which is perfectly normal and perfectly okay, then you're also good to go. Then you can actually just add the color. Now we've got two more things to do, or two more colors to use, and this is when the fun part starts because we get to use our fingers. I am going to dip into Drizzle It, which is my butchered color over there. I'm just going to go in with my finger like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to close my lid, press it on. And I'm, key and I'm going to keep going in and pressing it on until I feel like I have sufficient pigmentation on the eye. So guys, just about some shimmer shades and glitter shades. When you're putting them on after foundation, please be careful. Like, say a prayer, because it really can um, land up all over your under eye. And it's near impossible to get it off. It's actually, you can't get it off. You have to just look like that for the whole thing. So, ooh, look at my finger. <laughs> so now I've got my eye here matching a bit like this, but there's one last thing missing. I'm going to go in with my smudge brush and use the other side. And I'm going to go in to lick the spoon, which I had mentioned is this shade over here. I'm going to go with lick the spoon and I'm going to literally just press it on my inner eye like that. To give me that shine, baby shine. So guys, just to wrap up the look, this is essentially the final look. I haven't put any eyeliner or any mascara on the lids. I just wanted to show you how both my eyes look. And as I'd mentioned, you literally go and you pick between, you can pick one color, you can pick as many as five different colors. You want to make sure that when you're done, the colors look like they are all sisters and not really cousins. They all need to look very much related. Remember to always keep your shimmer in your lid as well as your inner corner and never above the crease. Your lid must never ever go above the crease because what happens above the crease is a diffusion of colors and the gradient that you're going to create. Make sure guys also when you pick a palette that you can choose a palette where you can create multiple looks. So I for example, I didn't need to use all the colors I, I used. I could have literally just stuck with inner pinch, extra spicy and drizzle it and that could have been a perfect look i didn't need to add in um where's lick the spoon i didn't need to add in lick the spoon in the in the corner that was just a thing that i wanted to do you can literally just use that color that color that color that color that color that color you can mix it in so so many ways just make sure that the colors that you pick for your gradient are matte and the colors that you pick for your lid they can be matte if you're going for like a soft glam kind of look keep the colors very close to each other so that when that gradient goes it looks stunning um don't make the gradient or the color or the depth jump too much or else it won't look like put together unless you're going to blend your life away then you can do whatever you want but guys that's essentially it hey i didn't want to complicate this tutorial and add cut creases and all of that stuff i really just wanted to give you a look and show you how you can put combos together that make you gain confidence in using eyeshadow i hope that helped if it did help guys don't forget give me a thumbs up in the comments down below if you want me to go in depth and maybe use another eyeshadow palette that is probably available locally so that you can practically copy and paste the tutorial let me know in the comments box as well and give me praying hands and i will hook you up with a local palette and create a look that you can wear every day that is very simple to use and very simple to create other than that guys thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate you and ciao for now